So we're here, the end of season two is nine. We just have one more game to play, a home tie against Fiorentina. Following on from the Juventus defeat, we went on a pretty decent run. The first game was a 4-2 away win against Virtus Entella. Tiago Almada, Melagioni, Hlozek and Moyes Keane with the goals. We then had a comfortable 3-0 win at home against Empoli, Munoz, Keane and Almada. A little bit of a disappointing one all draw away from home against Parma, particularly considering we beat them 7-1 at home, Almada with the only goal for us. We then had a home tie against Cagliari and won 1-0. Hlozek with the only goal of the game after having one disallowed earlier. Eldor picked up like a six-week injury in this game, so he's out for the rest of the season. And finally was a 2-1 away win against Bologna. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, second in Serie A going into the final game. We do have the Champions League for next season, so we will be competing at the elite level. And our squad's not ready for it. <laughs> we need a big summer transfer window to prepare and to help us prepare. The board have been very generous in giving us a £17 million transfer budget. Now, we can work with that. Uh, the 169 key available in the wins might be a bit of an issue. We're going to have a lot of our current stars wanting improved deals. And some of them will definitely deserve it as well. So, we'll have to keep an eye on that during the summer. But as I mentioned, it is Fiorentina in our final game. The game doesn't really matter for either side. We are going to finish second. Um, they are likely to finish 14th, if not 13th or 12th. We'll just play it out. We'll hopefully, it'll be, it'll be the last time we'll see some of these players. And we'll talk about that after the game. But I think it's definitely been an absolutely phenomenal second season in charge of Genoa. So Fiorentina did beat us in that January period when we had a little bit of a rocky patch. So I would like to get revenge if at all possible, please. First highlight of the game comes nine minutes in. Almada with a free kick. Mois Keane is at the far post and he heads just over. Fiorentina come down this right-hand side. We do manage to get a clear, but they are the second men to the ball. Milenkovic on this right-hand side. We're closing them down well. And Munoz manages to intercept the pass and set away. Mois Keane down this left-hand side. He's in behind. Come on, Mois. Ah, Dragowski, Hlozek. We can always rely on Hlozek. His 41st goal of the season. I'm pretty sure that's 37 in Syria now. Can he get a goal a I'm not Has he missed games? He must have missed a game somewhere. He's got to be at least a goal a game in the league. Never mind all competitions. Absolutely superb. And a wonder kid. Absolute star. Oh my god. We've just got given a straight red. Oh my dears. Can I quickly turn on the replays? No, I can't. Why? Why was that? I think it's here. We could see the, we could see the challenge which has resulted in a straight red. Moon, I mean, he, he wins the ball. I didn't care if he's two-footed. He won the ball. <laughs> We're down to ten men. We've got nowhere to go. Um, but let's just crack on with this, shall we? So Moyes Keane is actually going to be our sacrificial lamb. Um, he's going to drop to left back and we'll take him off. Uh, we've only got <laughs> Dominico Crescito. He's not exactly piercy. Let's put it that way. We'll move Almada over. He will remain as a false nine. Hlozek can go as an advance forward by himself. We're on balance already. I am think I'm relatively happy with the tactic as things stand. But uh, 10 men for an hour. Let's see how we do. We skipped about 20 minutes of the first half, which is absolutely fine by me. 41 minutes in, we have another highlight. We are in possession, and as long as we don't give it away, I'll be happy. Crescito, he's got the fresh legs, lad. Can you get down that line? David Carmo, he's got uh, Melodjoni on the inside from Back to Crescito. He's got the option of Thiago Almada, but he's uh, getting crowded out a little bit. Alcaraz offers his support. Thomas Belmont, Melod... Oh, come on, Sardella. This is where he should be. Hlozek. And Sardella finds that space. He's on a yellow as well. He needs to be careful. Gets to the byline. Whips it in. Almada. His shot is blocked. The assistant manager clearly has never played football manager before. He thinks we should go very defensive already. Absolutely not. I've had nothing but nightmares with very defensive. I'll stay balanced. Cheers. Ooh, the, first, the second half even is ticking away nicely. Just as the second half of the first half did. Still got 25 minutes left. We'll keep an eye. Fiorentina. Doing absolutely nothing. Look how defensive their formation is. Considering they're playing against 10 men. You'd think they would have made some changes by now. 15 minutes to go. When are the changes going to come Fiorentina? I'm not touching a goddamn thing. Oh, finally. They've went 4-2 for two minutes. <laughs> Second half. What an absolute delight that was. Do you know what Fiorentina nil? What a way to end the season. Munoz, absolutely. Well, yeah, to be fair, it was a fair challenge. It might have been two foot from behind, but he won the pot. So Genoa win despite red card. I'm going to continue on a little bit. See the end of season awards. And we'll uh, discuss the plans and where I'm hoping to improve for next season. Here we go. We're at the nice little animation. Genoa end of season review. The new arrivals. And here we are. He's the main man. Adam Hlozek. 
transfer in from Sparta Prague for 8 million quid, 41 goals in 40 appearances with 12 assists, averaging a 7.55. He is very, very special. As is Anel, to be quite honest with you. He's been fantastic at centre-back. 39 appearances, only the two assists, 7.3 average rating. Our two centre-halves have been fantastic. David Carmo, £6.5 million from Braga. 39 appearances, two goals, two assists, 7.19. Disappointing from corners. Only two goals. We might have to address that maybe in the summer. Resend, of course, was a January transfer uh, signing who we loaned straight out. He's done very well in Serie B. 11 goals in 16 games with three assists. Carlos Alcaraz, £7.5 quid. 39 appearances, three goals, eight assists from centre midfielders. Nothing to sneeze at. A 7.14 average rating. If you just spot that there, he does have a minimum fee release clause of £52 million. Pounds. I'm pretty sure I managed to avoid it for everyone else bar him. So he might be a main candidate for a new contract next season. Moise Keane, fantastic. Uh, 19 goals, 6 assists as like a supplementary striker. Obviously, we're not going to be able to sign him in the summer. He's worth £20 odd million pounds now. Everton are likely going to want to keep him or at the very least sell him for a massively enhanced fee. So uh, for now... We say goodbye to Moise Keane. Marco Sporty Yellow, a free signing. A 6.99 average rating for a goalkeeper is fantastic. Um, we will take that all day. Disappointing in the two wingbacks, um, Munoz and Sardella. Now, our, our tactic did favour attacking wingbacks before we made the changes. Um, obviously, with the changes, we just want our wingbacks to be a little bit more defensive. Just keep our defensive solidity a little bit, which is probably why they are so far down in terms of the average rating. Not getting involved as much. In the final third. But our board really did not like Killian Sardella signing. This is mainly due to the a player away just too high for a place in the squad. He's got 12.5k for squad player. I mean, as you can see by his potential. I probably overrated him a little bit. Um, maybe right back should be a place we look at next season. The season to remember absolutely definitely was finishing second. The squad, the board expected to avoid a relegation battle. 25k average home attendance. I'm hoping that massively increases next season after the quality performance we were able to put on this season. 69%, as you can see, more room to grow there. Adam Hlozek, 37 goals in the Serie A. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. A+, plus, fantastic results. Our biggest win, the 7-1 win against Parma. I absolutely loved that game. Match to remember the 4-2 victory at home against AC Milan. I believe we came from behind in that game to win 4-2. Uh, goal of the season ended up being Hlozek. Nothing really to talk about in terms of revenue or merchandise. We are still pretty far down in terms of actual revenue for Serie A clubs. And this is our best 11. And I will probably agree, Giglionia, the only guy who potentially you could argue with in terms of him or Sardella. But everyone else, Sport Yellow, Anel, David Carmo, Munoz, Thomas Belmont, Melodjoni, Algaraz, Almeida. Uh, Moise Keane and Hlozek. And now Almeida is one that we didn't talk about because we obviously we signed him in the January transfer window last season. He performed far, far better playing as a striker in that false nine role. Even though we, we tried to get him working in attacking midfield, I just couldn't find the right um, mixture of player roles versus tactics versus formation, blah, 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 blah. He's going to be an interesting one for the summer. It all depends on who we can sign as to where uh, he plays. He's either going to stay as a striker, which he's done. We know what we're going to get from him there, or we try and retrain him as a central midfielder. It all depends on who I can sign. Uh, he's he's will go with the club awards. Let's have a look at this. Fans player of the season, Adam Hlozek. Young player of the season, Adam Hlozek. Signing of the season, Adam Hlozek. Goal of the season, Adam Hlozek. Top scorer, Adam Hlozek. Most assists, Adam Hlozek. Most player of the matches, Adam Hlozek. Highest average written, Adam <laughs> All right, I think we'll get the point. And he broke like five records this season as well. Thomas Belmont, worst discipline. Well done, son. We only drew three times this season. We were very much a, a hit or miss team. Lozek does end up winning the Italian Serie A Player of the Year. He did miss one league game, so he's uh, 37 goals in 37 appearances, which is, it's just, it satisfies the uh, the OCD in me, I think. Uh, do you know players named the Serie A Team of the Year? We do have Alcaraz and Lozek. I would agree with that. Uh, two, probably my two favourite players from this season. In terms of the squad then, this is going to be, a difficult summer, more difficult than last season. I knew what I had to do last season. I had to completely reshape the squad. This season, it's all going to be dependent on who gets interest from other clubs, who doesn't, um, who's interested in signing for us and who's available. Now, we only have two of our first 11, who I would consider my first 11 anyway, to be actually interested from other clubs. David Carmore is currently wanted by Southampton. Could potentially be a move to be made there. He's currently valued at 975 
I, I know I can sign centre backs of a similar quality level for much cheaper. So we'll have to wait and see with that. And Mark will sport yellow. Uh, he's he's wanted by West Ham. I know I could sign a player on a, probably a goalkeeper on a free transfer who's at a similar level to Sport Yellow. Or goalkeeper in particular is somewhere where I really want to go out there, splash the cash a little bit, maybe on a youngster who can come into the first team straight away, but has that potential to grow. But let's remove other teams' interests for the time being in our players and pretend like it doesn't exist. This is my wish list for this season. We've obviously got Sport Yellow on goal. If we end up having to keep him, I think I'm okay with that. We can definitely have another season with him being our number one. Right back, we're going to have to look at again. Centre halves, we don't have to touch. Left back, we're going to have to look at again. Uh, with a view of moving on either Munoz or Sisbora and Sardella or Giglione on the right hand side. I think I prefer to keep Giglione as he is Italian. Thomas Belmont in the defensive midfield role, I'm happy with that. We want another central midfielder to replace Melagioni in the squad. I'm happy to keep Melagioni in the squad as he is a good squad player in terms of defensive midfield role and central midfield role. But I would like to sign a superstar there, kind of. And striker, Moise Keane's return to Everton. We will have to look to sign somebody new. We've already talked about a couple of them options, whether that's Sebastiano Esposito if me board decide to let me splash the cash, or that Greek sign and others are Brazilian who I've seen as well who I might end up snaffling up. But that is the squad. That is the season. It has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been a joy to play. 10 points behind Juventus. Can we close that next season? I'll see you for the next episode. You can find out when. <laughs> But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed this season and this save so far, please consider leaving a like and getting yourself subscribed so you don't miss season three. But anyway, lads, until next time, take it easy.